All right, finals matchup, guys. Ugh. Got uh, Kevin versus Ben here in the finals. Uh, ben beat me in round one. Um, he's kind of the specialty player of the tournament. Uh, he caught on to somebody from the anime that I missed and asked if he could use that character. Said go for it. Uh, and those zombies have turned around and taken them all the way to the finals. Uh, interesting point to point out is uh, the loss that put Ben in the loser's bracket to work himself all the way back up uh, to this final matchup is because he lost to Kevin. Um, so that's pretty fun right there. Uh, the other funny thing, this is a double elimination tournament. Um, Kevin, still being undefeated at this point, if Ben wins, they have to play again. So we have a possible double hitter here. Um, anyways, uh, Kevin opened up with the nuts with the pot of greed, uh, apparently plus into Valor at that point. Um, Ben is playing Pegasus, uh, utilizing Toon Table contents to filter through the deck, um, Toon Gemini Elf, uh, for 19 beats, and abusing Relinquished. Um, his searcher got valor there, and Zombie Master is, uh, Taking the lead with those beats right now. Speaking of the devil, there's that uh, Toon Gemini Elf. Uh, while it can't attack this turn, um, it is stronger than Kevin's Zombie Master. Um, and if you guys don't know exactly what this guy does, if Toon World's active, uh, he can attack direct. But the cool thing, he's a 1900 Spirit Reaper. Um, but it doesn't have to be uh, by direct attack either. So if he gets over that Zombie Master for 100, Kevin's discarding a card. But we see Plague Spreader Zombie. Uh, so we can expect the Synchro at this point. Let me tell these guys what's going on. And Ben had the answer with Solemn Warning. Oh, but Solemn Judgment. This is going to make this game short. <sighs> Sadly, that means I'm not going to be able to edit this video and uh, shorten it down the way I normally would when uh, I post these types of videos. But, oh well. It's not that big a deal. It's just going to be one really big matchup for everybody to watch. Ooh. That is a very interesting play. Pitching such a power card just to clear off the board like that. But, uh, unless there's Gorge or a Fader or something like that, um, we could possibly see game, game one going right here. Bring back the Plague. I don't know, let's see, can he go for game here? I'm not so sure. Oh, no. He's just saying, fuck it. Swing with everything. I expected either like a Stardust or a Scrap Dragon uh, or a Gaia Knight. Um, something along those lines. See you right there. I guess he wanted to keep that Bryo just in case so he could bounce a Gorse if he needed to. Uh, it's a safe play to make. Ben is on the defense. I mean, when you're staring down Zombie Master, Stardust Dragon, uh, and a Plague Spreader that is still alive, um, you're in quite the predicament anyways.
Into the Lila. Interesting. Gives uh, Kevin the mill engine to put some of those in the graveyard. Um, some of the zombies in the graveyard and backfield c control. Uh, I don't know why he didn't uh, negate that bottomless with Stardust. Um, that would have kept his Lila alive. Uh, Andy would have got that mill in the end phase. Um, but uh, he's trying to go for game. By having those beat sticks, uh, hopefully that uh, witch is going to search something for Ben that's going to uh, save him. Uh, but does he have a searchable answer? Or maybe he already has an answer. Nope. On to game two. Now, for my personal matchup with Kevin, I know he was really weak to DD Crow. Um, and Crow put in a lot of work for me. Uh, I know Ben is playing Crow. Um, I don't know if they're sighted or if there's any mained or not, but I do know they're there. Um, so, I expect Ben to be sighting those in. And uh, we'll see if they're the determining factor of game two. It is really hard to keep commentary going when there's just like, you know, five, ten second delays of nothing going on. Ugh. I may kill off all this audio and trim the whole video down. And then uh, put new commentary on it just to, to kill out some of this dead space. But anyways, Ben here opens up uh, with a double toon table. Um, that other Gemini Elf is going to be in his hand. So he's got at least a double 19 beater to deal with. Um, in and of itself, against the zombie deck, that's going to be a strong opening play. Um, oh, and the pot of greed after the deck then. Uh, you can't ask for, for much better uh, of an opening turn right there. Um, oh, but he's going for the search. Okay, is he going to run into Valor again? Uh-huh, that's good to go. Now, uh, depending on what searches, what Ben searches here, gives us a little bit of insight as to what else is in his hand. If he goes for the Relinquished, we can assume that uh, he has Illusion Ritual. If he goes for Illusion Ritual, which he did... Uh, it's a pretty safe assumption that he already has uh, relinquished in his hand. Um, or it could be he has neither and is just picking a piece. Um, so we'll see what happens. Oh, he hits the Plague Spreader into Grave. That's beautiful. Uh, as well as a Light and a Second Dark. Um, Chaos Sorcerers and BLS are live. Um, Dad is almost live in and of itself. Uh, he has the Ryko. That charge just uh, put Kevin in a very good situation. So Ben decides to warning the Zombie Master. Um, personally, I would have let him discard, get his Plague back, uh, and then warning a Synchro so you use up more resources. Um, he kind of left Kevin in a better situation right there. Um... <sighs> Sorry guys, it's been a long day. I'm tired. Um, that Toon Elf can't attack this turn, but uh, he'll still go ahead and swing for that 14. Give himself a little bit of back row and pass to Kevin. Which has now put Kevin on the defense, it seems. 
my assumption is that's going to be like a Mystic Tomato or Goblin Zombie or something of the sort. So, we'll find out. But uh, duality, we see Sangin, Valor, and Dark Armed. Uh, I wish I could get into the grave to uh, double check what's there, but Ben feels confident that Dark Armed is the right play to make. Uh, so he must have... No, he doesn't have any monsters in the grave, does he? I honestly can't remember. Looking at the game state right now, I probably would have chose Valor, but I guess having the boss monsters you can help set him up for later is a, a good thing as well. Um, so, yep, tack into that Raikou with... I completely forgot he searched Raikou here. I was thinking it was a goblin zombie or something. Um, but, oh well. Uh, Kevin gets uh, at least a third dark into grave. Um, or maybe it was four. I didn't see what that first mill was. Um, it really sucks where you can't get in and see things as a uh, as a viewer. Oh well. Whatever it was, Kevin didn't like it. I think that spell mill was uh, <sighs> graceful charity, which. Something the zombies will plus off of quite a bit, actually. Um, but we get the dark hole and tomato swinging. And we break out the black illusion ritual. All right. Tributing the crow. Why would you not crow the plague spreader? Oh my god, what are you thinking, Ben? I mean, unless you have nothing, absolutely nothing left. But, you take the 14, go on the offensive with it. Um, you've got a shield. I mean, for the most part, you're in pretty good shape. Singular destruction's gonna hurt, but we'll see. Oh, the true nade. Recycle the tomato and leave plague is a zero. Plague is no longer safe by battle, but uh, his mirror the damage effect will still apply. So they will both take 1100. Um,. Ben loses Witch off Goblin Zombie's effect. Um, hold on. Technically, you shouldn't be interfering in a match, but do what I do. Envoy! Shouldn't really matter at this point, because Ben's going to have game. So. Alright, game three. Now again, if Ben wins this match, they will have to play again. So let's see if Ben can get retribution for his uh, previous loss to Kevin. Uh, at that point, it's tiebreaker. Well, that's all going to be determined on this game here and now. So.
Kevin's obviously going to go first here. Well, Kevin's either extremely pissed or extremely happy with his hand. Pot of Greed, in and of itself, would make me think that's a very happy hand. Uh, and Graceful Charity, sweet Jesus! And let me guess, he's got Magician of Faith to set to back it all up. Could you open any more godly? Uh, dropping off the castle. And a tomato. Alright. He must feel like he has decent enough uh, hand to not need to be filtering into the deck uh, with Tomato. That set card, my assumption, <laughs> again, if that's Magician of Faith, oh my god. Um, anyways, Ben's going to search or filter. Um, I play tested a lot with him prior to this tournament uh, against the deck. Typically all he did was search with a single tune table rather than filter them. Um... But why he, why did he do that? Stupid misclicks. Uh, and then searching double elf. <sighs> and we have a duality. Preparation, great. Prison for defense, or Reaper for defense. Um, we'd probably forego Reaper in this case, if it were me. Um, the chance of Bryo is going to make Reaper sort of dead anyways. Um, whereas, if they don't have the instant Bryo play and they need to start attacking through things, that deep prison is going to back him up, so that's probably the choice I would have made too. And another search. Now, with both searches, he could have taken the preparation and made sure he had every piece of the puzzle for Relinquished. Um, the fact that he didn't take the preparation and then dropped the Manju tells me right there that uh, he already has Relinquished in his hand. And let me guess. Attack into Magician of Faith? No, Mystic Tomato. I didn't call it. Oh, well. Either way, um... There's another explanation for why he ditched a tomato, because he already had another one with backup. And he goes into Goblin Zombie, which is going to be setting up uh, search plays off synchros and all sorts of good things. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wait, can't. Duality. Can't. Again, I hate interfering, but uh, I'm not going to let something illegal take place in the finals of my tournament here, so. Anyways, ooh, he loses Reborn, he loses Call, and he loses Envoy. That charge hurts. Uh, makes, Kev or makes Ben very, very happy, though. Um, but he's going to go for the Lila. Um, I guess he wants that back row out of there. Figures he'll mill a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if he plays any egg seeds or not. Um, all depends. Oh, he's going straight for the attack. Run into D prison? Kevin must not be paying attention there. Um, so, that Lila right there is a tough loss. Especially when all you have left at this point is Goblin Zombie. Um, that's just Kevin not paying too much attention and walking right into the trap. So here's where I expect Ben to make that <laughs> relinquish play, uh, now that he's out of the condition of duality. Uh, so that is what he decides to start his turn off with. And Kevin gives him the go-ahead. Uh, what exactly will he tribute all right, one of those extra Gemini Elves for Relinquished. Um, and attempt to steal Goblin Zombie? Or is he going to run into Effect Failure? 
ran into Valor. All right, well, I expect to see him uh, run over that goblin zombie with Manju anyways. Um, oh, book. Tough loss. Um, at this point, you can expect to see uh, at least 1,100 damage done to both players this next turn. Um, if not more, if he's able to synchro off with that goblin zombie in search. And Ben loses relinquished. Sort of sucks. But, uh, they will both take 11. Let's see if uh, Kevin realizes that this time. Ben went ahead and pointed it out. We have a set Manju and a set what? Ben could have uh, some decent plays going on if that set's like a Magician of Faith or a uh, witch that he has the ability to get off the field. So we'll see what plays he makes. Ben's liking whatever he drew, so we'll see what happens here. Another piece to drop another Relinquished, maybe? What? Oh, well, it does get its effect flip summoned. I didn't realize that. Oh, but another Valor. And he's going to surge anyways. Nice. What piece is he after? Another Black Illusion Ritual. Alright. Does that mean he has the Relinquished? Or is he just setting up a play? Reaper. Minus 300, and what piece is Kevin going to search here? Probably Zombie Master would be my assumption. Uh, maybe Plague, depending on what his face down is. If he goes for Plague, you can assume he has the setup for uh, a good synchro play to follow this turn up. If he goes for Zombie Master, he's looking to bring back that Goblin Zombie and do some more. Um, so he went for the Plague Spreader. Um, you know, that tells us that we can expect the Synchro play to happen. Um, oh, Witch! So much search! That is amazing. Um, sort of luckily it's possible for uh, Ben to hit one of these searches off that Spirit Reaper. Um, if it's Plague, uh, he may still nag a little bit. Uh, but that'll be bringing Plague back anyway, so we'll see what happens. Uh, what card will Ben hit? Book of Life, not bad. Um, it's going to overlay into what? Utopia? Would be my assumption. Yep. And, uh,. Regardless, uh, if Kevin realizes that he already has the Bryo play. Oh, but he's not going to need it. Dark Hole. I was expecting a Zombie Master Ditch Plague to Special Plague. Um, he may do that play anyways. Uh, or he may go back into Goblin Zombie. Um, yep. To swing through for 29. Uh, grab that mill. 
Um, quite frankly, he should have top deck for Plague there already. Oh, cores! That right there could be the game winner. Um, it's well, really, it's just gonna force uh, Kevin into main phase two Brio. Um, so I guess Gores really isn't the best in this situation. Um, then again, that's all if Kevin sees the play or not. We'll we'll find out. He overlays, and what is he thinking? And Digusto Emerald? Ditching Goblin Zombie? And what is he going to recycle? He wants his Envoy back. And his Witch back. And a Valor, because Valor has been a dominant card for him in this matchup. Uh, not going Bryo, though, I am honestly afraid that that's just lost him this duel. Uh, I could be wrong, but by the looks of it, that's where this is headed. Um, the card he just drew was uh, a back row, so hopefully that's his savior. Um, Ben's going to take the plus off Greed. <laughs> Uh, if I were Ben at this point, it would be Gores to defense, uh, token attack over for 100, but um, just want to play it a little safe here. Uh, but we get Graceful Charity as well, so Ben is really looking for that back row hate. Um, if he can get that back row off the board, um, he'll be in really good position to keep that attack position stuff, uh, summon more and go nuts with it. Um, he may even get to relinquish playoff and steal, uh, steal Digusto. Um, we'll see what happens. Ooh, straight to battle. This is risky play right there. Mirror Force! I told you guys he needed to put that Gores in defense. And, uh, swing over, but he's getting way too, uh, brute force there. And it's coming back to bite him in the ass. Um... At least he has the uh, Black Illusion Ritual play to make. Um, I can see him doing this main phase too. Uh, I can see why that made him a little less afraid of Mirror Force because he had an out regardless. Um, need to make out a point here. Technically that Zombie Master is in Kevin's grave. Um, while you can book uh, an exceed and it gets to keep its material, uh, when it that's because it's still a monster. Um, when it is treated as a spell or trap uh, by an effect such as Relinquish, they will lose those materials. Um, uh, long run, it's not really mattering that much because uh, he swung into Raiko. Um, Milling off Mizuki. And double Goblin Zombie. Alright, he's got all three Goblin Zombies in Grave. Mizuki to bring back whatever piece he needs to make a play. Um, ben is in pretty bad shape right now. Um, Specialing Envoy. Solemn warning. All right. Still has to banish there. Call of the haunted. What will he bring back? Goblin or er, zombie master? And Ben's got the crow. Ben's got the crow. <laughs> Told you guys crow uh, made a big difference in this matchup. Um, and right there it's finally starting to shine a little bit. Uh, possibly just saved Ben's ass. Uh, I expected Plague to come back. I expected uh, um, Mizuki to start doing some things. Uh, Mizuki's probably going to do some things right now anyways. Um... 
uh, it's not nearly as bad without that zombie master out there as well. Oh, his own <laughs> envoy runs into warning. That's funny right there, guys. That's comedy. That's comedy. Um... Anyways, there's the Banished Mizuki, and the Goblin Zombie for uh, an 1100, uh, and a mill. Milling another crow, that, that, that's a little painful. Um, Kevin's really been about that mill with those Goblin Zombies. Um, he has not been utilizing his hand to get that Plague Spreader back on the board. Uh, I'm a little surprised at that, honestly. <laughs> Dark hole. It's gonna let him search, and uh, well, that's game right there. Um, he's gonna summon. He's gonna bring back plague spreader. So right there, Kevin's got the tournament, guys. We have our winner. Congrats to Kevin, and uh, well played to Ben in second place. We will uh, get this finalized and get the points headed out to everybody. So, peace out.